When we're using Excel, we often think that because we've got data just within our file, that it's a table. But Excel actually has more, more powerful tools when we actually format our data as a table. So in this video, I'm going to take you through how you can take your existing data and create it more of a table format. For this data set, we have information on movies. We've got information about the directors, how much the film grossed, the name of the film, and things like that. So it's actually quite a large data set. When we have a large data set, actually formatting it as a true table makes it much easier. So we can do this a couple of ways, and I'll show you those. The first way we can do this is starting in the upper left-hand corner between column A and row 1, we've got kind of this, this arrow that points down. If I select that, it's going to go ahead and select all my data that's connected. Now, it's important to note that it's got to be connected or contiguous data. If I had an empty column or an empty row that's empty all the way across, then it's not going to select all of my data. But when I do this, I can then select my data and then go to Format as Table. And I can select whatever type of format that I want to create my table. It's going to go ahead and pull up the range of all of my data. And it's important to note the option if you have headers in your table or not. In this case, every column has a header. And if I don't select that, it's going to consider everything else as data. So I want to make sure for this data set that I have that selected. And then I'll select OK. It's a large operation, so it's going to give me maybe an error message saying that if I want to continue or not. In this case, I'm going to select OK. So what it's done now is created a more formal table where I have different names of all my titles and I have options to sort and do other things. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and undo that by hitting Control Z so that I can show you the other way to do that. The other option, which is a little bit simpler, is as long as I've selected any cell within my data set, I can use the function Control T. So you can remember T for table. And when I hit Control T, it's going to realize all of my data that's in there. I'm going to again select my table has headers and select OK. So now I've got my table that's all created. It's going to always go to the default format which most people are fine with. What's nice about this is as I've created this as a, as a formal table, now I can go through, I can sort all of my different rows and columns. Um, so it's nice and easy that all of that's done for me. So I have all my headers named in here. If I come over and I select my entire table again, I can go through and I can see what I've named my table. So it's important to note, because if I'm going to use this for other formulas later, as I create tables, my tables are always named in the order that they're created. So I created a table showing you with the first method. That was my table one. I undid that. So now when I created this a second time, it's table number two. It doesn't matter what tab you're on when you're doing this. Excel is always going to name your tables in the order that you've created them. So if I went to another tab and I created another table, it would now be table number three. So that's always important to note, especially as you get more and more into analyzing data. The other nice thing about formatting my data as a table is that it's going to recognize my data and my headers. So let's say over here, I want to create a formula. If I do equals table, as soon as I started typing table, it's going to recognize my second table. When I type in table number two and then use a bracket, it is now picking up all of the names of my columns. So if I wanted to add together the So let's say I want to add together 
the budget. I can select that. And then let's say I want to add that with table two. And I want to add the gross. Probably doesn't necessarily make sense as an equation, but you can see how things fall together. And as soon as I do that, it's going to add everything together because it's recognizing those two values from those. So again, formatting as a table is very helpful because we can now use all those formulas and those named columns for any of our equations.